What's going on? So the Jets got some pro bowlers and one guy that got snubbed. And uh, hey, if you're excited that the Jets are doing some positive things, give this video a thumbs up. And let's get into it. Number one, congratulations to one CJ Mosley. Now, I know it's been a tough couple weeks. He had the uh, bonehead play against Buffalo. He had to play against the Lions that he got blamed for, but probably wasn't his assignment. And he got a crazy contract from Mike McCagnin. And then he looks like Ray Lewis, that first game against Buffalo, gets hurt, doesn't come back. Then COVID year, opt out. He had a baby, uh, comes back, and then transforms his body. New system. And since then, I think that CJ Mosley is, you know, he's always going to be overpaid. We can't do anything about that. But damn, I'm glad he's on the team. I really am. And I think he's overcompensated for a lot of lackluster play at outside linebacker and safety, respectively. Last year, the whole defense was trash, pretty much besides him and like two other guys. This year, the defensive line is great. The corners are great, but still up the middle, it's CJ Mosley and a bunch of mid. And I, he's not our best defensive player, um, Quinnen, Sauce. But, I mean, besides Quinnen, he might be our most irreplaceable. Like, when he, if he comes off the field, it just looks different. Remember that last year he came off the field? Uh, I think they had, like, Hamza and Sherwood in there as rookies. Patriots hitting us for, like, six yards a clip on the ground. He's the quarterback of the defense. I think he's the kind of player that we're going to appreciate more when he's no longer a Jet or hanging him up. So, congratulations to one C.J. Mosley. Sauce Gardner made the Pro Bowl because Sauce Gardner, is he the best corner in the NFL? I don't know, but it's crazy that you have to legitimately ask that question as a rookie. Unreal. If you told me we were getting this Sauce Gardner by year three, I'd say, great. Sign up for that in a heartbeat. <laughs> he is so far ahead of schedule. It is cartoonish, the things this man does on a football field. He has the same wingspan and hand size as Randy Moss. The same 40 time and vertical leap as Julio Jones. Built in a lab. Unreal. Is Sauce Gardner and his counterpart. Here's the thing. Teams have stopped targeting him, right? Jared Goff didn't even look that way towards that long, skinny number one. But who's on the other side of him? Some scrub that they're just targeting instead of a sauce? It's DJ Reed, who should have been a pro bowler over Xavier Howard. It's ridiculous that he wasn't. And DJ Reed, I think, is the best free agent signing uh, since Kevin Mawai. I really do, dollar for dollar. I didn't really know who he was until he was a Jet, and I canvassed free agency pretty decently for this channel not decently enough i guess dj reed flew right under my radar at five foot nine 185 pounds four five to 40 and this man has squeezed every drop out of his physical abilities he is so prepared and tenacious and heady unbelievable the way that he plays uh, the cornerback position at his size and the best tackling corner i've seen on this team since number 24 DJ Reed is an absolute dog. Garrett Wilson, Pro Bowl alternate. My God. I don't know if we've fully come to terms with what we have in Garrett Wilson. And I think what we have might be the best homegrown receiver in Jets franchise history. Really. It, he is 15 yards away from being top 10 in the entire NFL in receiving yards. Top 10. And he's had three different quarterbacks. None of them are, are great. And even so, like, there's three different guys throwing you the ball. And blocking for those guys have been like a gazillion different offensive tackles. And calling the plays is a second-year guy who nobody even, it's debatable on whether or not he's good at his job. And Garrett Wilson's top 10 receiver as a rookie, it's absurd. It's absurd. The way he moves is just different, man. You know, the herky-jerky, the yak ability, the slipperiness. Woo! Garrett Wilson is a dude. And I think that uh, you know, the losing streak, the injuries, the quarterback debates, the fans divided. Um, I think this is a nice moment to really remind ourselves of the level of talent that we have on the team. Not to mention, ABT and Brees Hall are pro bowlers guaranteed. And these guys are young. And of course, Quinn Williams. <laughs> Quinn and Williams, uh, best player on the team. Write him a blank check. Keep him a jet for life. What he is doing in the middle of that defense as soon as he was off the field in Detroit, you noticed he made a lot of money by not being on the field in Detroit. Defense didn't look the same without him. He needs to be back. It's the priority of the offseason is figure out what we're doing with quarterback, figure out how to protect our quarterback, pay Quinnen, and then the rest of it is gravy. Go Jets.